VP supporters are demoralized because there is a price for biting a generous finger. Adamu Garba. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Political analysts continue to make a different analysis of the ongoing presidential primary election of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. A former presidential candidate under the Young Progressive Party YPP, Adamu Garba, has added his voice to it. Adamu Garba reacted to the speech of the vice president of the country, Professor Yemi Usibanjo, after he addresses the delegates. The vice president did not step down for anybody, and this made Adamu Garba to say, I do not know why they put vice president Usibanjo last to speak. Maybe the outcome of the votes will reflect that. I can imagine how demoralized his supporters are at the moment, knowing fully well that there is a huge price to pay for biting a generous finger. With leading presidential contestants such as Amosun, Akbabio, Badaru and Fayemi stepping down for Tunembo, it seems apparent that the Jagaban is building a formidable momentum. He's the man to beat. Nigerians are pleased he was allowed to run. Denying him the opportunity to run would have eroded the credibility of the entire convention. We can aspire to higher standards in our democratic practices. Some policies are achievable. If you're just, no one cares about your ethnic and religious identity. If you lead by example, you inspire your citizens to follow you fanatically. When it comes to ethical standards, Nigerians will say, we are not Americans. But when it comes to bad examples such as corruption, they beat the Americans. It is easier to change citizens by personal examples. There is nothing complicated about those qualities, even though no single individual can possess all of them. Well, well, well. Permit me to say the way they use run, best way they run street again now, uh, Usibanjo. But the thing is, Chagaban knows how to play politics. Chagaban is a formidable for See, eh? If you are going to come out and say, oh, Tunubu did this, so he did that, too, and you forget to include that it's a very, uh, when it comes to, he's a very brilliant politician, and you have not started. Tunubu is the kind of person that, I don't even know, he, his own strategies, you understand? He's standing out, me, you understand? I have to say this, I have to be very blunt. It's not, I'm not his fan. But, no, when it comes to politics, the man plays it very, very well. He's one of the people in the southern part of Nigeria that plays politics very similar to the way the North, you know, the North Anas now, yes, the way he does things in a way that you, you, you just cannot, you just, you know, go reason rich there. You understand? Imagine that you and somebody are in a race, then what the other person is thinking, you know? You, you don't even, your own is just like, you did one, the person not they think of 1,000. You understand? That's how it is. Adamu Garaba, you know that V, you know that VP is better than Tunibu 100%, but the religious sentiment will not let you to see anything good about him. Hmm. They not love him very much because PMB said he's an honest man until when he start taking instruction from his church and start going against the person who God used to lift him. It shows that he cannot be trusted. Eh, the not loves him very much. We go still see him now. Elijah, they come for front. Leave all this thing you are saying. Okay. Evil politicians are betrayers and businessmen, always stepping down for others to go up. But every Sunday, you see them in churches, front seats, present their tests, giving and gifts, or receiving anointing after selling their son. I don't understand. What did one bring about Ibo stepping down for you? I don't, I don't understand. Though. Okay. What have you gained from the relationship of a Muslim in the past seven years than woes upon woes? Well, I don't, I'm not prepared to go down this path. I don't want to bring religion into this. I uh, know. Into what is happening in Nigeria. It is going to be very catastrophic. Yes. If we in Nigeria start thinking, ah, oh, now Muslim don't did before. You understand? Now you make all this thing they have a problem day you should not even go that area at all you should be praying for your future that 
and that's of your children. Nigeria wake up your collapse and once a rich and flourishing nation has turned into a nightmare. You can see that again. You can see that again. And so what? Why are you being petty? Except if the Muslim is not a Nigerian. Some comments are unnecessary. What do you gain as a Muslim being ruled by a Muslim this many years? All that is talking about all that is talking about balance because we are Nigerians have decided to be shallow and religious without God. Otherwise, that one counts as a nation. Exactly. We are being very unbalanced and shallow and petty. That is why these politicians and the users play. If they bring out a religious issue now, you will see the nation is in chaos. Over matter will be saying we even suppose. You understand? We go abandon what they do, face that one. If you bring tribalism, oh, the worst. You will see everybody. Ah, is this one? Is that one? Ah, ah. That is why these people go down. They don't they study us, finish. They use us, they do lab rats. As they don't study us, finish. What they can't do? They can't bring waiting to finish us. Pata, pata. But God no go let sha. Okay. Uh, of course, it is inhuman to buy the finger that fed you that is shameful obeying or listening to the voice of reasoning and later feel woefully like Usibanja field. Hmm. Say the truth. Do you hate Usibanja because he's a Christian or because he contested against student boom? I ask because this biting thing, this finger biting accusation is still a cry in your mouth after your man won. Would a victory not satisfy you? I don't know. Unsustainable supporters. <laughs> What's all this slavery rant is about? Which finger fed you? I hope you're not addressing adults. <laughs> this is getting really interesting. I love this person's uh, school of thought too. Me too. I am of the opinion that, okay, fine. Fine. You don't, you know, you don't, he did not step down and he still did not win. You understand? So what exactly is now the problem? What exactly is the problem now? The choice is between the continuation of the old system of greed and despondency or a new Nigeria of peace and prosperity that Nigerians are yearning for. Okay. You have spoken well. I'm a Christian and I won. Who cares to listen that God is not a man? You can eat your cake and still, you cannot eat your cake and still have it. Where are those people pushing him to run? The day has break already. On terrible mandate, we shall stand. Hmm. It is getting interesting. Well, they should allow this man to rest. After all, the Jacobana has won, right? They should allow the VP to rest. Now he has to just make sure he works for the same person he was running against. That is it. His own his own punishment is already there. Yes, as if he sees it as a punishment, okay? On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.